And now, for today's episode. Welcome to another episode of Donkey Kong 64. Today is part 46 and we're joined here with Donkey Kong. He's already heading back to his island where he left off, where his hut is. I wonder what he's up to today. If you guys were actually watching last week's episode, you'll know that I've left the Rareware coin and Nintendo coin to last. So I decided, well, why not make it easier for myself and just go visit Cranky. So off to Cranky's lab we go. Okay. What? This? You've got 40 banana medals? I don't believe it. You must have made them yourself. Huh. I suppose you want my surprise now. Well, I've got this little game for you to play on my computer. Score over 5,000 points for a chance to win the railway coin. But I don't think a scale like that is that in your league, Sonny. Why not give it a go anyway? The Donkey Kong starts the minigame. The game of choice is Jetpack. Pretty interesting game. There's not really much uh, music in it, to be honest with you. But it's a lot harder than it looks. One of those meteors touch you, and it's game over. Honestly, it, it, this game was actually quite infuriating. The amount of times I died, uh, the amount of times that those meteors would hit me. Their trajectory is a bit hard to predict. My tip to you, if you're ever playing this game, is try to grab that fuel before it hits the floor, if you can. And stick to this upper right corner in this spot, if you are able to, otherwise that will happen. As you noticed already. So it's always good to watch both sides of the um, screen to make sure that those uh, meteors don't hit you. It's not as easy as it looks. It took me, I think, about 10 or 12 tries to get it. And once the rocket is full, you jump in and get launched to the next section. And to the next area we go. And it gets, it gets harder. So instead of meteors now, um, you're met with these weird alien little blob things. I don't know what they are, but their patterns are even more random. Then the meteors. I struggled a little bit here. And I was only down to one life. So we have to be really careful. We're already at 2,270 score and counting. So that's good. We're actually making good headway. We've got to be careful. Oh, that was close. There's a lot up the top there. So this one requires a little bit more attention. But they're a little bit easier to predict where they're going to be. The fuel over there to the left. Quick grab that before you get hit. Four nine. And we've made the 5k mark. So that's all you need to do to get the 5k mark. And I got a game over. So I got 6,150. Jump into the rocket ship. I wasn't sure if it was the score on the left hand side or the high in the middle. That was my actual score. I couldn't tell. But I dare say my score was on the left hand side. Because that's what increased. And then you get to this stage with balls in it. You don't have to keep playing at this stage. But I wanted to see how far I could go. And look at that. Rare rare coin collected. <gasps> What's that? You got my rare rare coin? That's impossible. You must have cheated. Huh. Or you can do as I play for fun I suppose. No. Well pass thanks. That's all the potions you're getting now, scram, and leave me alone. In peace, Diddy Kong, Donkey Kong, whatever the hell your name is. Well, what a grumpy old man he is, huh? Well, that's one coin collected. I know where we got to go to next. Do you guys know? I'll give you a hint. It involves a factory. <laughs> Where are you jumping to, Donkey Kong? Alright, exiting his island home. And off to Frantic Factory. Now remember I tried this in one of the previous episodes and failed miserably. I wasn't going to give up. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. 
Yeah, as I tell you, this one's more frustrating. At least I was able to get there quite quickly. So remember, if you ever want to come back, you go straight to the number one teleport pad. From the number one teleport pad, you go to your right, I think. This direction here, towards the Kusplat. He doesn't have the blueprint because we've already handed them all in. Climb up the ladder. And head down this hallway. Until you get to that machine. Nice and easy, right? Now, if you guys want to watch how many times I failed these mini-games, stick around after the credits. It's worth it, trust me. Anyway, this is how to win at the Donkey Kong mini-game on the Infantic Factory to get the Nintendo coin. So, Donkey Kong does his thing. You know, it's funny. We're Donkey Kong and we're versing Donkey Kong. So the trip, the trick, the trick here is to run as fast as you can. Jump over that one, and like literally, I, I could time this with how f how silly the pattern becomes. Once you've learnt it, the first three stages. Well, it's the third stage that I was struggling with the most, but this part becomes really easy. This part I was nailing each and every single time consistently. If you can do that and get to the 75 meter mark, you're in luck because at the 75 meter mark, you get a free life. Now, this is where I actually got really lucky here. And if you get lucky too, it's all about timing and which way the flames go. So, see how now there's a little Mario guy above the L? I'll point that out. But um, this part was the hardest because the spring is annoying. I gotta say, that spring actually causes uh, a lot of problems. So you really need to watch where that spring is going. And that flame on the right hand side of the screen is quite problematic as well. Because if you're not careful, and just like that I fell off. So you want to be careful because that's an easy way to lose your life. And then, well, at least you do get a second chance in this stage, so that's good. So timing is key in this stage. You want to watch where that flame is going and then head down the elevator before it gets to you. This is the easiest way I found to do it, so if you guys have a better way, I'd love to hear it. But this is the best way I found. You wait for that flame to go back up and then head over as soon as you can. You can actually stand there and the spring won't get you. So... There's some key places where you can stand where that, where that spring just won't get you. And then you want to inch as close as you can, and as soon as the spring is over your head, gun it to the ladder. And that's how I managed to get to 100 meters, but I will tell you, at this stage my heart was racing. And, like, I'd failed that many times, I was starting to get frustrated. But I finally got to the 100 meter mark, I'm like, yes, I'm not failing here. I'm not failing here. So, I've got the left hand side complete now. Now to do the right hand side. And those flames, you want to try and watch out for them. And they're all congregating towards Mario now. So, one down. I decided to go up the ladder here. And I grabbed the, the hammer because they were coming to me and I didn't know what else to do. I didn't want to risk it getting this far and then just to fail. I'm glad that one actually came down the ladder because if it didn't, it could have spelled disaster. We've got one more to go. Down the ladder. And if we can make sure that... There we go. Donkey Kong has now been defeated. Down he goes. And we get the Nintendo coin. Now we'll say, you need to have patience of steel for this one because it was frustrating as heck. But it was worth it in the end. It really was. It was worth all that headache, all the heartache. I registered my name, MAG, short for Magnus. 21. And we get awarded with the Nintendo coin. Nicely done. Now, I was going to exit Frantic Factory, but then I forgot. Why don't I just hit start and then exit level? That would have been easier. 
Okay. So we exit the level. And... Oh, we're swapping back to Tiny. Because Tiny is the one that needs to get back into um, Hideout Helm. We need Tiny. Because she's got the monkey port ability. So... Using the number four teleport pad. Honestly, we could have probably just ponytailed 12 down. But I was being lazy. Well, I guess not lazy. I was being efficient. Because what you do, you go to number four. Then number one. You walk across this segment here. I found it easier just to ponytail 12 here. And ponytail 12. And then using Tiny's monkey paw ability... You teleport up to the top of um, K. Rule's Island Hub. And then you enter into Hideout Helm. If you guys haven't watched Hideout Helm, I urge you to go and watch uh, last week's episode. It was a doozy. So we enter the Hideout Helm lobby. And we take the number one teleport pad. And Tiny enters into... Hideout Home. Now, Hideout Home no longer has a counter because we've completed the stage. But we've got both the Nintendo coin and Rareware coins now. The guards are still around, but K. Rule's nowhere to be found. I wonder where he's hiding. Dunno. But let's see what we get for handing in the Rareware coin and Nintendo coin, shall we? I mean, there was a reason why it's there. I can hear a banana fairy, and there's a free, another cor uh, key, and two banana fairies. Two banana fairies. So, remember last time when I said I have a feeling we hadn't gotten all of the fairies yet? There's two fairies in here. Now, the trick with these fairies is that you capture one, it captures them both. So you actually have to make sure that the smiling face is green. So those two fairies count as one. It's silly. I didn't think that it would, but never mind. So, I've decided to reposition. We'll grab, grab the key first. And that's the last and final key that you need for K. Lumsey's cage. Now, K. Lumsey can be freed. But first, I want to catch these banana fairies. These are tricky. Oh, look at that. Clear as day. If that was a normal photo, we would count that as captured. i move Tiny back a bit. See if I can get a better advantage. Come on. Look at that. It just like flicks for a microsecond. There we go. See? Both of them. Just like that. And the fairies go, Well done, Tiny. You've rescued all the fairies. Now go back to our island. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So let's go back to the island, shall we? And Tiny... We could just exit the level, you know. But never mind. Let's um, exit the old-fashioned way. Walking. Tiny taking the number one teleport pad back to the beginning of Hideout Helm. And we exit Hideout Helm. Back to the Hideout Helm lobby. And out of Hideout Helm entirely. Now, where's Tiny off to? We can't quite reposition the camera yet. We're too close to the building. See, the camera actually needs to go behind you, and that's one thing I don't like uh, about the camera in Donkey Kong 64. It's very restrictive. And Tiny deciding to take a big leap of faith with her ponytail twirl towards Fairy Island. Nicely done. Well, at least a fall like that won't hurt Tiny because she does have her ponytail twirl ability. Which is good. That's nice. I like that. And Tiny activating her shrinking ability to enter the banana fairy realm. I wonder what we get for rescuing all the all of the um, banana fairies. Do we get treasure? Do we get something awesome? Tiny! Oh, Tiny, you did it! You rescued all the banana fairies and have restored peace to Banana Fairy Island. 
thank you. I can now reveal our secret. Ooh, our secret. A secret door. What were they hiding? Tiny, thank you once again. Banana Fairy Kingdom is eternally grateful to you and your friends. Why, thank you, Fairy. That was very kind of you. They were hiding a banana from us the whole time. That's our reward. Tiny's sixth banana in DK Isles, bringing our total to 174 bananas. So remember, if you want to watch more, stick around till the end. Otherwise, Magnus Tsunami out. Magnus Tsunami. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.